In this video, you're going to learn how to get set up and running with ARA plugins within Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Cubase, Nuendo, Studio One, Cakewalk Sonar, and Reaper. Use the timestamps below to skip to the chapter that gives you the information you need for your door. ARA plugins such as SyncVX by Waves are loaded differently to classic VST3, AU, or AAX FX plugins. Short for Audio Random Access, ARA is a protocol developed to improve the integration between audio plugins and digital audio workstations. It allows plugins and doors to exchange information about audio content and session structure seamlessly and provides deep integration, bi-directional communication, fast workflow and real-time flexibility that makes changes appear directly in your door. In Pro Tools, you have three ways of loading an ARA plugin. The first is, load from the Elastic Audio Plugin Selector menu in the track header. SyncVX aligns audio from multiple tracks, so you'll need to load it on each track you wish to sync. To load multiple instances of SyncVX across multiple tracks at the same time, select all the tracks you wish to sync, then on a Windows machine, hold Alt-Shift, or on a Mac, Option-Shift, then select SyncVX from the Elastic Audio Plugin Selector menu. You can also load SyncVX from the clips themselves, by right-clicking, SyncVX, Edit. You can also load SyncVX from the clip menu. You can access SyncVX in any of the ways that we've mentioned, but you can also open the interface from the bar at the bottom. In order to use SyncVX in Logic Pro on an Apple Silicon computer, you'll first need to launch Logic Pro using Rosetta 2. And on any track that you wish to sync to other tracks, load SyncVX from the Audio Effects menu. Full SyncVX ARA compatibility in Logic Pro on Apple Silicon computers will be available in the future. In Cubase and Nuendo, to enable SyncVX across a track, simply load SyncVX from the extension menu in the track inspector. In case you want specific audio events to be processed by SyncVX, highlight the event, then select SyncVX from the extension menu in the info line. Once you have SyncVX loaded on the tracks and the events that you need, you can access its interface by double-clicking on an audio event that is processed by SyncVX. To get ARA plugins working in Reaper, first you'll need to open the Preferences. On a Mac, Reaper Menu Settings. On Windows, Option Menu Preferences. Under Plugins ARA, make sure that Enable ARA for plugins that support it is checked. If it wasn't, check it, click OK, then reset Reaper to apply changes. To load SyncVX in your session, select an audio track you wish to use it on, open the Effects menu and search for SyncVX, and it will appear under the VST3 menu. To use SyncVX to align multiple tracks in Cakewalk Sonar, you'll need to load it on each audio clip you wish to sync. You'll need to right-click on a clip you wish to sync, and then select Region FX, SyncVX, and Create Region FX. To reopen SyncVX's interface, Right-click on the clip which is being processed by SyncVX and select Region Effects, SyncVX, Open Editor. To use SyncVX to align audio from multiple tracks in Studio One, you'll also need to load it on each audio event you wish to sync. And in Studio One, you can insert SyncVX on an audio event in two ways. First, right-click on the audio event and select Event FX, SyncVX. And two, select an audio event or multiple events and click, drag and drop SyncVX from the Effects menu over to the tracks. To access the SyncVX interface once it's loaded on an event, double click on SyncVX in the Event Effects menu in the Inspector. Visit waves.com forward slash SyncVX for more information and to learn how SyncVX works with our short tutorial video.